Hello everyone, today we're back at RAF Bradwell Bay um, for another adventure. Um, we've had a few requests to check out the underground flooded battle headquarters bunker that we looked at last time. And we've got some welly boots, hopefully the water's um, not too deep and we can actually have a look inside and see um, what is in there. I don't think many people have really been inside it. And also an abandoned hangar that we missed last time over there. If you didn't get to catch the first part of our adventure here, you want to check that out in the link um, that's going to come up on the screen now. But without further ado, let's get stuck in. So we've actually found another exit to the Battle Headquarters underground rooms that we didn't check last time. We found these steps going down into it. I'm not sure if it's even flooded in there. We're gonna have a look. There we go. Awesome. Got the welly boots on there. So I think down on the floor there is one of the doors that's been ripped off the hinges. It doesn't look that deep, so I think the welly boots will be okay. Look in there, it goes on quite a bit. You can see all these bits on the ceiling where the electrical fittings would have run. And if you look at the frame, you can actually see the original wood still look brand new almost. Awesome. There's all sorts of rotten matter on the floor, it's like spongy. Um, gotta be careful, I don't tread on any nails. Do not want to puncture in these ruddy boots. Oh my god, look at the size of that spider. There's the main entrance room. It looks a bit trashed, unfortunately. Been a lot of fly tipping in there. Um, not actually sure what these rooms would have all been used for, but we'll try and find some information. There's another one, the wooden doors broken up on the floor there. Maybe that's a piece of the cabling that ran along the bunker. And there's a the door, solid room. Look at that. Joe wouldn't like it in here. <laughs> Look at that fitting. It's almost at the top of the wedges there. We've got the skirting still going around the edge. Door frames are rotting away. the old door. There's some sort of, I don't know, maybe that's a toilet room. That would make sense. This is the room that we looked into in the last video. You've got these sort of hatchway things looking through into each of the rooms. 
You've got this sort of big entrance room here, small room behind it that we just looked in. And you go through here, you've got the toilet, I can only assume, on the left there. And then on the right, we've got the other exit down the end. Look at the size of that spider. Holy hell, that is a monster. Not for the faint hearted that. I mean, I'm not a massive fan of them. I don't like that. But Joe would hate it. We've even got butterfly down there. Um, I think butterflies do like the, um, the salt and stuff that you get accumulating in these places. You find a lot of butterflies in pill boxes and things. There we go. So there we go, we've just been inside the bunker. I'm really glad that the water was just shallow enough not to go over the top of the welly boots. Um, yeah, it's interesting to see it. It wasn't that big, just about, you know, four rooms, but it's still worth checking out, especially considering that not many people really know it's even there. Now we're gonna go over to the abandoned hangar. there we go we've just had a look at the final abandoned blister hangar not really much to see but it's still worth doing it just for the sake of completion um, and obviously we were lucky enough to get to look inside the battle headquarters so as i said if you didn't see the first part of the bradwell video go and have a look at it now um, and if you've already seen it please subscribe to see more of our videos as and when we release them so thanks for watching guys see you later